Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at how to install IntelliJ on your Linux machine. So in this case, we're installing IntelliJ on Linux Fedora 28. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your web browser, in my case, Google Chrome. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is go to the site for IntelliJ. So in this case, it's JetBrains.com. JetBrains is the name of the company that makes the IntelliJ software. So the software we'll be downloading is IntelliJ, as you can see right here on the front page. But additionally, you can also go to Tools, IntelliJ IDEA. You're gonna end up going to this Download IntelliJ IDEA, IDEA page, and you're gonna see options for Ultimate and Community. And we're gonna be sticking with the Community Edition. It's basically the free edition. And we're gonna pick the appropriate one. So in my case, it's Linux, um, this, this first one here. So if you wanna install it without JDK, there's an option for that as well. And once you click that, it's gonna start downloading the file and give you the thank you page. You don't have to fill this out or anything. Just wait for the file to download and I'll probably fast forward the video. Okay, so once the file is finished downloading, you're gonna to want to navigate to your downloads folder. And you can see the file here, right there. So you can right click it and say extract here and it's going to uncompress it into this directory. So it takes a couple seconds and you can see it here. So here you can see the resulting folder. You can double click it. This is the folder of the file, the actual uh, installation number. You can click that. Um, we're going to go into the bin. And then we're going to see this file here, idea.sh. This is the file we're going to need to install. So go ahead and open up your terminal. And then you can just take this idea.sh file and drag into your terminal. Once you dragged it in, you just go ahead and click enter. And that pretty much starts the installation. So you're going to want to scroll to the bottom. And then you can click accept. That's going to load up. And you're going to be able to start creating a new project. Before you get to that though, we're going to need to configure some things. So go ahead and click configure, project defaults, and project structure. So that's going to take you to the default project structure page. And now we're going to have to point the uh, SDK to the, to the correct one installed on your machine. So you can go ahead and click new. You can go ahead and click JDK. And IntelliJ should be pretty much clever enough to find where your JDK is installed. If it's not, you can always go ahead and navigate to the correct uh, folder. So in my case, it's, it's already been navigated to the correct folder, which is under user, Java, and here you can say the JDK and the version that I've installed. Go ahead and click OK. And when you do that, you can now see that it's loaded and as well as the SDK default should be set. With that, you can press OK. So with that, you're pretty much ready to start IntelliJ. So you can go ahead and click Create New Project. Here it gives you the option to install additional libraries and frameworks. Um, in my case, I don't need anything additional. You can always come back to the screen if you do need additional things. Click Next. You probably don't need to use the command line. You probably won't be using the command line, but you can always select it as an option if necessary. Let's choose a project name. We'll leave the base package as combat company. And you click finish. It's going to load some components and you should be able to see IntelliJ startup um, as expected. Um, if I were you, I would go ahead and leave the tip of the day. Sometimes they're pretty useful. So I'm just going to close that for now. And so to go ahead and make sure that IntelliJ installed correctly and that's working, we can go ahead and type in a typical hello world output. And 
And we can go ahead and run that. And we can see that indeed, hello world is outputted and you verify that IntelliJ has been installed and works correctly. So that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them as comments and I'll try to get to them. And if you did enjoy the video, consider giving me a thumbs up or subscribing for future videos. And until next time.